hello everyone today I am going to show you how to add your AD group in FortiGet 100D and also show you how to add your AD group in your SSL VPN using your SSL VPN to connect via your AD so there is no record for authentication for password for separately you can uh, previously you can select from your uh, user and device go to your user definition and select the user whatever you want user address IP address so uh, if you want uh, if you want to don't uh, don't use those separate username password and IP address then you have definitely go with your ad server so firstly you have to go user and device then user group i have already selected the user group for my uh, ssl vpn for my sso group and this is the group i have already selected like this is the ssl vpn group number one if i select this then edit okay this is my name which i have selected ssl vpn group and you have to select the type is firewall then you have if, if yeah, and you don't need to select from the member because this option only for those if you uh, create a new user for this user and device group so you have already a ad server right so you don't need to uh, create a, another member for it you have already create your uh, member or group member in your ad server so just you have to click from those server and right header to select this group just and click ok ok this is the this is the group i have already selected so i can edit this if i edit this then you can see the remote server is my already i have selected and the group uh, there this is the my group you can select from this group and uh, whatever you want i have already selected this group for one uh, vpn user and vpn user this is the group and i have already 13 or 20 member on this group so uh, if you want you can select thus right select and add select if you select this then it will automatically select it to this group right you can select this from a, this group here so if you remove this right button and remove selected as done then click ok i have already select this so i don't need to click for cancel so i need to cancel i have to click on cancel button so i have already created the group for user device then you have to go go for the vpn setting because you want to create for the ssl vpn right so you have to select from vpn ssl vpn portal and if you want to uh, SSL VPN via your Forti client manager, then you have to select the tunnel access. If you want SSL VPN via the web access, then you have to select the web access. If you want both of these options, then you have to select this for full access. Full access. Uh, here we go for the uh, Forti client option. So we have to select this tunnel action, then the edit. there you go here you can see limited user to one ssl vpn at a time that means uh, this user only log in from one device at a time so you have to select this on tunnel mode on source ip address that means ssl uh, ssl vpn ip pool that the ip whichever you want to uh, whenever the user is connect from the uh, internet from the SSL so he will get a IP address from this pool I will show you now where is the pool of this IP address is held okay then you have to show you have to click on ok allow client to keep connectivity alive because if you don't the client client will not connect connection is alive so you have to select this on and then click ok then you have 
to go to the SSL VPN setting. <laughs> there you go. From the interface, whichever you want from the SSL VPN, obviously it, it will be the ISP uh, which you have you have to connect. Listen port by default the port is 443, but here I am changing this because the default port is uh, uh, too much risky for the internet, right? So I have to edit this port. Yeah, you have to you can edit this port whatever you want. Okay, so um, allow access from any host that will be that need to be select and write it down. Uh, a specific custom user range that option you need to be select and IP range uh, the range uh, which user can get from the IP from your SSL user this is the IP and DNS server if you, if you have the DNS server then specific DNS server if you don't want your DNS server using then select as the same as client DNS server okay this is the authentication portal you have to select this because this portal with will sh give you the permission whenever you are whenever you want use for tunnel access that means for 40 client user or the web access i have here using for tunnel access i can edit this you can see just simple to click thus uh, user and group the group whatever you want this is the SSL VPN group previously we have created this from the AD group and the portal this is the portal that means full access means web access and web, web SSL and 40 client SSL this is the tunnel access for the only for 40 client SSL this is the web access for web access here I select the tunnel access okay select okay I have already selected this so previously I show you okay I have already selected address group the SSL address group there you go this is the address policy object address group okay this is the range SSL VPN range 172.161.10 to 100 that means uh, 90 user 90 90 user will be connected from this IP address get the IP from this pool this is the pool okay then last part is this apply this policy on your firewall so go to your IPv4 policy I have already created this so I don't need to create but you have to create I have uh, I am going to show you how to create this just create just click create on your create new incoming source the interface will be automatically create so don't worry the arguing interface from one to LAN obviously SSL VPN to LAN and source source this is the source the IP VPN pool this is the IP address um, where the user get from your SSL user from IP this is the pool IP address pool and this is the group this is the group for the AD user right this is the address and from user this is the AD user group AD VPN user group right okay decision address where you want to go uh, here we can here it is we have selected branch router 1 branch router 2 and the LAN subnet schedule all is schedule service all whatever you want netting net is enabled because you are obviously using for the internet okay then select all session then okay done this is the policy one but you have to select it for the reverse policy once again so you can see this is the another policy 
here the SSL VPN is uh, from SSL VPN is connect to from source to destination LAN from source VPN to destination LAN but it need to select from LAN SSL to internet so this is the another policy you need to select Okay. This is the incoming interface SSL VPN. The tunnel is automatically created by system. Outgoing interface from um, previously we have outgoing interface is LAN, but this is the for the one because SSL VPN. If you want your using your internet from your um, office or your firewall, then you have to be selected for outgoing interface for the one. Source is uh, same destination all schedule all schedule all service all netting is enabled don't need to select for security profile if you want you can enable your antivirus web filter dns application whatever you want so i don't need to select this just give a digit at it is login option you have to select all session because if you don't select this all session then no report will be generated from your fortigate so you have to select this all session and you need to uh, place your policy and top of the top of your policy from the uh, below of your netting policy right this is the policy i have first one second one is non netting you can see but third and fourth is totally for the ssl vpn you can see ssl vpn and ssl vpn third sorry fourth and five fourth and five will be the ssl vpn policy okay and if you want to log it or if you want to monitor your ssl vpn there is no user on this right time if you when the user is connected you can see a lock on this space I think it will be helpful for you uh, thank you for watching this and hopefully you can subscribe on my channel for the further video okay guys have a